Hey y'all, this recipe calls for some Canadian bacon. And you may be worried because you might not be able to find Canadian bacon without a little sugar. Preferably if it does have sugar, that's brown sugar or cane sugar. But it's okay if you can't find it without sugar. This comes up occasionally, like with regular bacon. But the small amount of sugar used in the preserving process shouldn't be something to stress about. It's not ideal, and if you can find it without any sugar or other sweetener at all, that's great. But if it has minimal ingredients and it's not maple flavored or something like that, the small amount of sugar in the Canadian bacon shouldn't derail your nutrition goals. Now, enough of that, let's get cooking. Begin by heating a little oil in an oven-proof pan over a medium-low flame. That pan is gonna need to go in the oven for the final frittata, so it should be oven-proof. Add the broccoli with a pinch of salt and pepper and cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Turn the broiler on and in a medium bowl, add a little salt and pepper to your whisked eggs. Add the Canadian bacon and the cooked broccoli to the eggs and stir to mix. Reheat the skillet over a medium low heat. Add some more oil and make sure the pan is coated by gently rolling the oil around the pan. Pour in the egg mixture, making sure everything is spread out evenly. That helps it to cook better. Then you're gonna cook for about five to eight minutes or until the edges are firm, but the middle is still jiggly. At this point, you could optionally add a little goat cheese on top before moving it to the broiler. Now you're gonna move the skillet to the broiler and cook for another one to three minutes or until the eggs are set on top. As always with the broiler, be careful of burning. After it's done cooking, cool for a few minutes before cutting. Plate up and dig in.